this is number theory 1.12. So answer each of the following. Is 84 divisible by 3? So if we just do division, we know that 84 divided by 3 is 28, and 28 is an integer. So yes, 84 is divisible by 3. And then B is is 84 divisible is 84 divisible by negative 14. So like the same thing we do division again. So 84 divided by negative 14 is equal to negative 6. And negative 6 is also an integer. So yes, it's divisible by negative 14. And question C is, is 193 divisible by 18, I mean 17. Uh, so 193 divided by 17 is equal to 11 and 6 over 17. And 11, over, 11 and 6 over 17 isn't an integer. So, no, 193 is not divisible by 17. Right? So then D is, is 1080 divisible by 18. Um, so if we do, whoops, okay, 1080 divided by 18 is equal to 60, and 60 is an integer, so yeah, and then E, is 93 a multiple of negative 2? Um, so, since 93 divided by negative 2 is equal to negative 46 and 1 half, negative 46 and 1 half is not an integer, so, uh, neg uh, so 93 is not a multiple of negative 2. Now, F. Is 93 a multiple of 3? So, 93 divided by 3 is equal to 31. So, that means 90, 31 times 31 times three is equal to 93, so that makes 93 a multiple of 31. So, yes. And G is, is negative 140 a multiple of seven? Um, so like everything else, we do negative 140 divided by seven, which gives us negative 20. So that means negative 20 times 7 is equal to negative 140. So negative 140 is a multiple of 7. And then h. So is 142 a multiple of 7? One hundred and forty two divided by seven is equal to twenty and two over seven, and that's not an integer. So set one hundred and forty two is not a multiple of seven. And then I is thirty a multiple of four. 
of 30 divided by 4 is equal to 7 and 1 half, which we know is not an integer. So 30 is not a multiple of 4. The last one is, is 300 a multiple of 4? Uh, so 300 divided by 4 is equal to 75. So that means um, that means 75 times 4 is equal to 300. So that means 300 is a multiple of 4. So yes.